Hello guys, I'm back in the world of Ox Survival of Old on my Patreon server. Oh, right then, I'm still a bit uh, under the weather, <laughs> so I do apologise. Right, so, um, I'm going to go for a Fjordor Hawk, a better one today. Uh, well, I, I'm going to try. Now, these are quite awkward teams, really. Um, let's just chuck you down, Sausage. It, that was like a level... 40, oh, 30? I mean, it was uh, a really small level. Right, what's this one flying about? I think it's for a year. Oh, I can't even see. Oh, level 100. Um, right, so... There are videos out there saying the best way. <laughs> and, to be fair, they are the best way. Um, like, rock elementals. You can feed them rock elementals, and basically they will sort of kind of get nearly well 100% uh, taming effectiveness even on high levels uh, purely because it's it's like they destroy the carcass so you basically you have to you have to kill a dino uh, and then these guys swoop in and get the carcass um, so anything that's sort of tough to get rid of uh, is going to be a lot better now, people have been saying in the comments that, oh, the bigger the dino, the better the team in effect. Well, that's not strictly the case, uh, because, like, there is, like, a Bronto. And if I if I dispatch that, you will probably get about 10% something team effectiveness on, uh, well, on this server anyway. Uh, probably on something like that. It's not very good. But the best thing i found is cheap. Now... You can go chasing rock elementals down if you like. I mean, if, you, if you're if sort of equipped and at that level, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm going for the easy option. So, I'm on my Patreon server, and my Patreon has literally just dropped me off a, a sheep. Now, uh, there we go. It's a level 200, and it's male. Now, the levels don't matter at all. It's, uh, it's the carcass uh, when, it, when it's feeding on it. So... Basically, if you can find any low-level sheep, tame them up and breed them up, uh, and then you can feed the like the babies and stuff to it. So well, that's what I'm going to do. Now, obviously, because like we are low-level, I don't have any crop plots or anything on here, but we do have uh, resources. So there's a little village. Uh, I'll take you to it in a bit, and it's got all the resources that you need uh, to make well, nearly all the resources. Uh, nearly uh, to make uh, the vegetable cake. Right, let's just go and have a look. I've got a crop um, cooking pot here. Let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, consumables, crafted foods. Don't we vegetables. There we go. Right, so we need giant bee honey, long grass, rock carrot, tree sap, which I do have, savile root, stimulant, and water. So, the majority of those are literally found on here. So, I don't have any crop plots. Uh, I went out, did a live stream yesterday, and I went to the village. I'll, I'll go over and show you where it is. Uh, and I got some, some of all the things. So, we've got citronol, um, long grass, savile root, and uh, the honey as well. Right, I'll show you on this map. So, everything, like the tree sap and everything, uh, if I pull the map up. So, I'm there. Uh, where is that? Does that does that so show you? So I'm at 82. I'll leave the spyglass on because that kind of shows you where, where the coordinates is. So if you look at the the top left of the screen, you'll see I'm at 82, 7, 43, 65. I mean that's pretty precise. So that's where I am. Uh, so the honey. Let's go get the honey first. Let's just go go on resource gathering now. Then will that despawn? It probably will. <laughs> So I tell you what, let's let's make let's make a vegetable cake and get that tamed up before it disappears. Yeah, so my patron dropped it off. Right, we'll take that off. Um, right, so we need a little bit of honey. Now I do have a stack mod on here as well. So uh, what do we need? Rock carrot. There we go. We'll use the S plus one. Right, make sure, yeah, so that's in there. Got a bit of that, honey. 
Saddle root. Long grass. Alright, consumables, vegetables. Uh, stimulant. Right, we need a bit. Of, we need a little bit of stimulant. So we'll have to, we'll have to craft some of that. Oh god, <laughs> we've got a visitor. It's a level 100. He's the club floating in his ass. Uh, Alright, consumables, drugs, uh, stimulant. So we need a spot pad and we need some stim berries. That's not a problem. We, we do have those. I've just been out on my Bronto. So the other stuff is fairly easy. Uh, the tree sap's a bit tricky, but they are actually on here. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you where, and uh, it's <laughs> it's one of those that it's in a place, but you have to like sort of hunt around for it. I'll show you. Uh, I mean, I'm waffling, but I'll show you. Uh, right here we go. Let's just chuck some of this in there. Right. Embarrassed. Let's I mean, pop some of that off. Well, alright, vegetable cake. Uh, transfer that. Right, am I standing? If I stand here, I can literally just do it. Oh, he says. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. Uh, light fire. Consumables. Vegetables. Yeah, so we're crafting it. Lovely. I think it just needs one. I think it just needs one. Does it need one? I don't even know. Well, we've got enough do a load more really to be fair all right slot zero all right let's go get that sheet before we does a load of trouble all right come here sausage let me just fly down oh here you go right. come on there there we go nice sorry kind of instantained Right. Come on, sausage. You need to be up here. Safe and sad. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, because we're on a modded server, I'll put him in a soul ball. But you get the idea. Mods or not mods, it's still the same procedure. You still, like, need the stuff. Right. So now I'm going to show you where the, the kind of resources are. Um. Let me... Uh, around and on so the honey um, so if I put the map on uh, there are a couple of little nodes around this area I you sort of do have to kind of look here I think here we go look straight away all right oh, comp it please Right, there we go. So that's the bee honey. Obviously, we've got a stack. Oh, well, I've got a stack one on this server. So it's only going to come down as individual. And you can see, look, there's another one there. Uh, and they, they're quite a few around here. Now, the tree sap, that's a little bit more tricky. Uh, there are a couple of spots I've found. Um, one is, is around here. Now, I say tricky because it's like literally one tree in an area. There is one tree and that's it. Once you've knocked it down, you have to go away and then come back again. And then the tree could pop up in a completely different place. But it is sort of kind of that way. Right. So it's near the shipwreck, which is either side of this. Now, it could be in a couple of places. So here's the shipwreck. Let's pull the map back up again. So we are there. What, 8795? Uh, 3804 let's just go here I think I've already harvested it right so there's a patch of trees they're not they're normally here I've, uh, I've already got some honey and there is one tree in this area 
that has the tree sap in. All the rest are just standard trees, but like when you destroy it, it may come back again in a different area. That's what I've uh, I've took it out. So you have to wait for a respawning. To yeah, it's literally all the other trees are just normal thatch, but it looks like a normal tree. It's not like a uh, a Joshua tree or anything like that. But that's the area that it's in. Uh, we'll go to the village next. I'll show you where that is for the long grass and the, the south route. So you don't need to build a crop plot straight away. Um, so even if you're low level, you can have a, a pretty decent hawk. Uh, you don't have to wait till you're big enough to tackle a rock elemental. <laughs> I don't, don't imagine many people are on, on like first games starting in. Right, so we've probably got to wait for that to spawn back in again. But it's like these little islands, like little, well, I say islands. They're not islands, are they? What, what do you call them? Like little patches of trees. Wherever these patches of trees are, there will only be one that does tree sap. I mean, not this one. It's, it's probably the other one. There you go, look. So there, 170. Now, the rest of them won't be. They'll just be, that's it. That's the one. There. We'll go again. We'll get rid of this. Right. That's it. That's your lot. That's all you get in that little patch. Last time it was on, like, I got the opposite one. So there's, like, a little uh, patch of greenery near the shipwreck. Uh, 87, whatever that is at the GPS coordinates. I'll just pull the map up again, just so you can have a look. Round about this area. That's where your tree sap is. But again, it's only one tree per patch. Uh, last time I got, like, I've got this one. Uh, and I got that one. But they, they do alternate as well. So sometimes all these trees will pop back in. You'll go, oh, I know exactly where it is, like I did there. So you'll come to harvest them and there won't be any. But it's one of, one of these three patches, like one, two, three around this shipwreck so that's where you, you get your tree sap right we'll go and uh, look at the uh, the village right then so this is the little uh, village I do be careful because there are like raptors here um, but there's a little garden uh, plot just there and it's got everything you need to make uh veggie cakes well the vegetable side so let's uh put that away right so we are 1396 i'll get the map out uh so we are kind of kind of there in that bit right. so everything you need here it's a bit like it's a bit like ragnarok but it's got the other things as well so Ragnarok only had like carrots and the uh, taters. But we get citronol. And saddle root. And long grass. Quite a bit as well. So there may be other places. I don't know. I've not fully explored the map. But this is the, the place that I could to get my veggies. To make my veggie cake. Right. So, I mean, if you're on single player, you won't be able to teleport. But, um, because I'm already located in that area, uh, I'm going to teleport back to where I am. So, it's there and east. It just means that you can get back to your base quicker or the area that I'm in quicker. Depending on where your base is, of course. Because uh, the veggies spoil pretty quick. I should have really put it in my dino. It uh, slows it down a little bit more. All right, this takes its sweet time. Oh, there we go. So that's it, pretty much. So we do have... So we're back on this uh, light beach where the shipwreck is. And now if I go up and over... I've done this so many times... Uh, this area as well, around here, this is where 
the sheep are. Now, there are other areas, and uh, they are quite sparse in the spawnings around here. But uh, I've had my sheep before for when I tame the other hawk from this area. So that's around there. So pretty much everything you need is around this area. Uh, one of my patrons has told me there's another hot area as well. So we'll go and have a look for that. Uh, so I can tame it up and then we can come back in the same sort of fashion Right So there we go, right so that's uh That's the vegetables sorted out. Let me put them away oh God is it like a <laughs> right. So we've got more resources lovely uh, I'll just put everything in my uh, preserving bin Yeah so we've got more than enough to make any uh, some more veggie cakes. Right. I might make a couple as well. Right, so that's that. So yeah, let's go. Let's make actually let's make some more. Alright, what do we need? I think we just need pork, don't we? Can we take everything out? Uh, stimulant. DMA. Right. Stimulant, we can leave that in there. Hi. Consumers, vegetables. Oh, right, water. Yeah, that would be our idea, Jim. Right, let's, let's make a few veggie cakes. What I normally do is stand in the water, pop bar my water bottles. Obviously, this is like the primitive way of doing it. If you've got a cooking station, then like kitchen, it's easier. Uh, right. So, accessible inventory. Oh, I can it. Oh. Need to go back a bit more. Can we? Yep, there we go. We still access the part. We can. So we'll just load the water up. Transfer that. Wait for the magic to happen. <laughs> uh, and then transfer everything back. But I don't think we need, we don't need that many. I mean the vegetable cakes, they, they don't last that long anyway. Um, how many can we make? Well, we'll make a few, just in case. Just in case we see a couple. So, I've already got a male, so I'm looking for a female. Right, I'll let this percolate and uh, we'll go hunting for some sheep. Right then, so I couldn't find that 300. Uh, I've got a level 290. Um, so we'll just have a look. Right. It did eat some of the carcasses. Now, I don't think it's got any taming effectiveness. No, it hasn't. Now, I don't know. Do we unclaim and then... Oh, well, let's, let's just try one first. Uh, right. Uh, then we'll see if... Where's he gone? Oh, he's here he is. Right. Right, we're still passive. Um. Now if we put that on, if we put the spyglass on it, you see how much it's taming effectiveness. Right, 17%. It's not too bad. So we probably do need we need another one. So we'd need five. Alright, let's uh, unclaim this one. Options. Unclaim. Now remember, it's a max level one. Uh, Taming effect is going down quite a bit. Alright, let's unclaim this one. Um, 
Can't believe Mark one. Is he literally just going to fly away now? No, he's coming back. Wait, 23%? Why has that gone down? Okay. Uh, let's put the team tracker on as well, so we can see what is going off. All right, thirty-six percent tracked. Um, and claim. So it is a bit random, but I mean, we've got 42%, so right. Now we need to go looking for a new one. Uh, we'll teleport over. Oh wait, where's Mr. Anadon? He just disappears at random places. Right. We'll get Mr. Anadon, and then we'll, uh, we'll get some more sheep. Nice. Right then, we've got another contender, for the love of Christ. So yeah, this one's just sneaked in. Uh, it's a 270. Oh, man. See that? That's that 290, that's the one we want. That's the one that's sort of... That's 29% teamed as well. God damn it. Because they like this, they, they stick to you from a fair long way around. It's like it's, they are to get rid of as well. Um, I don't really want to do anything with that one. I think I'm just gonna have to just keep going. I've got, I've got all these sheep, and I've got two female. Well, I've got to a female and a male that I'm gonna keep. Oh no! See, I've just poked that one. Is that the one I've, I've been taming? They literally just fly into you. All right. What level are you? Oh yeah, yeah, the 290. But now I've lost all the taming effectiveness on that 270. And what it'll do is it'll come back as well. It will actually come back. Right. Options. And claim. They certainly are tricky to tame, I'll tell you that. But. Oh God, it's come back. Right, let's have a look at. Taming tracker. See what that says. See, look, zero. Absolute zero. And now if I... Let's see if I can hit it without hitting that 290. Right, 290. Right, you. It's... Oh, my. That's a tough bed. Right, unclaim this one. Holy crap. We're going down overseas a bit now. I think I've got another one. Right, 290. Eat up, boy. You eat up. Right, the taming effect in this is not going to be that great. Uh, options, unclaim. Oh, God damn it, I savaged it then. Two ninety. Yeah, there you go. Right, where's that other one? Yes. I didn't really want to do that, but never mind. Right. More sausage. 
71%. Right, I think I've got one more male. I thought I'd save that one for breeding. Right, I've got one more male, one female, so obviously I don't want to use that one. Don't fly into me, for the love of Christ. Right, are you going to get teamed up? Oh, so close. Oh, no. 99.0. Oh, damn it, Jim. Is there anything I could... Is there anything I could kill that's just going to make you... Uh, one percent. So we got. We need to do something fairly quick. All right. Come on, come on, come on. You just need one percent. So the longer we leave it, the more it's going to go down. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh! Pinched it at the last bit. God damn. Uh, oh. Alright, you, you lost quite a bit of taming effect in the first there, didn't you, buddy? Alright, let's just have a look see what uh, you've got in your inventory. Holy crap! So, it, it saves. Once you've tamed it, it saves everything you've fed to it. So, I've got all the uh, pelt and... Of the mutton, and obviously we've got holy. All right, there we go. So I say it's an easy way. <laughs> it's an easy -er way, and we haven't got to be like tech level to to get some crazy ass dinos down. Now, like you can have like the elemental golems. Uh, I've seen somebody do that. I think it was Nooblets that did it. Uh, he got like elemental golems or something like that. And uh, he was like insta-taming them virtually. But uh, yeah. I mean, if you're at a low level, you ain't got a chance. So that's going to be the best way. Uh, get some sheep breed, breed up. Um, all the resources are there. Uh, there was quite a few overses anyway. Oh, wait, there's another one. <laughs> we, we, we cough. We missed one. Happy Jim. Oh well. We've got one there anyway. Right then guys. Don't forget to whack a like on it. Comment and subscribe. All that's left to do is wave. And see you in the next one.